Meanwhile, the Senate will vote this afternoon on whether or not to move forward on a bill to repeal and replace Obamacare. But it's still unclear if Republican leadership has enough support. And there's still confusion about what the senators will actually be voting on. Senator John McCain is returning for today's vote, just days after announcing his brain cancer diagnosis. President Trump took to Twitter this morning, writing, quote, so great that John McCain is coming back to vote brave American hero. Thank you, John. In a separate tweet, Mr. Trump wrote, after seven years of talking, we will soon see whether or not Republicans are willing to step up to the plate. To break it all down for us now, though, is Eliza Collins. She is a congressional reporter for USA Today, and she joins us now from Capitol Hill. Thanks for joining us, Eliza. Um, so looking forward to this afternoon's vote. Explain to the viewers what exactly senators are going to be voting on. Rand Paul just took to Twitter, and he indicated that they'd be voting on the clean 2015 repeal bill. Is that the case? Sort of. And that's actually the first we've actually heard from a lawmaker with any indication of what they're voting on. Of course, there's kind of been these on background conversations with aides. But the fact is that later today, they're going to vote on this thing called motion to proceed. Basically, that means that the bill is getting brought to the floor. It's not actually the repeal. It's not the repeal and replacement. It is literally saying we can start talking about what's in this bill. And there's kind of a wonky procedure that they have to use with the House passed in May. That is not the bill the Senate's going to pass. They've never looked at that. They don't like it. President Trump called it mean. But they have to vote to proceed on that bill, and then they can amend it to kind of be whatever they're looking for. And it's not clear if it's going to be that straight repeal that uh, Rand Paul talked about, or a repeal and replacement, or we're even hearing kind of a smaller version, a skinny repeal, like what they can bring together and get votes on. But Rand Paul is saying that he was assured that at least the clean repeal will be brought up for a vote, which is kind of all he was asking. It's not really expected to pass, although crazier things have happened. But he's saying he'd only vote to um, bring it to the floor if he was assured the repeal would be brought up for a vote. So it sounds like he was at least assured that that would be an option. Yeah, that was a question I wanted to ask you. Does Mitch McConnell even have the numbers for a clean repeal, repeal bill? You sound like you're saying not really. We don't even know if Mitch McConnell has the numbers to talk about this bill later today. But the clean repeal is kind of the most controversial because the theory is they'll repeal it all and then they'll do it on a two-year delay and it'll force Democrats to sit down at the table and come up with a replacement. Now, the other argument is they couldn't figure out a replacement as it was part of the plan. How were they going to be able to figure out a replacement later? So you're seeing a lot of moderate senators, um, Senator Susan Collins, Lisa, uh, Lisa Murkowski, Shelley Moore Capito have all already they said they will not vote for that clean repeal. They can only lose two votes. So there's three people already fully against it. And there's likely a lot more that if it's going to go down, they'll make sure they're nose too. So John McCain is returning for this vote uh, just days after telling the country that he is battling brain cancer. You mentioned that there are already two senators who are going to vote no. So does, uh, does McCain's presence factor in this in any way, shape or form? It factors in hugely, and I think there's kind of mixed feelings here. McCain is widely respected on both sides of the aisle. People love him. I think everyone is pretty excited. He's healthy enough to come back. They're like, this is the McCain we know. But I think Democrats would like it, had liked if he takes a couple more days to rest because McCain is that reliable yes vote. The Senate is wonky in that if you're voting, you have to be here. So if he was not able to come today, that's one less uh, vote that Republicans had. So if he wasn't here, they could only lose one. So now they can lose two, which is still really, really tight, but it does give them that extra person. Mm. Um, and the president has been tweeting about health care this morning. Among his uh, many tweets, he said, we will soon see whether or not Republicans are willing to step up to the plate and that he has pen in hand. What are the political implications for the president if the Senate cannot manage to get anything passed today? I think it's a big failure. I mean, this is something that President Trump talked about constantly on the trail. It's also something, let's remember, Republicans have talked constantly about for seven years. So President Trump wants a win. He's kind of indicated he's open to how that happens. He's open to a repeal. I think he'd like a repeal and replacement. Um, last week, he said he'd be okay if it failed, and then they worked on something. He just wants that there to be a repeal eventually. And he's really trying, in typical Trump fashion, to put pressure on lawmakers 
lawmakers. Last week, he sort of gave this threat to Dean Heller, who's one of the undecideds. He said, you want to stay a senator, don't you? So, you know, President Trump is definitely turning up the heat. Yesterday, he said that if the Health and Human Sec Human Services Secretary wasn't able to pull off a vote, he'd call, say, you're fired. I mean, he's definitely kind of inserting himself into the conversation because this was a big part of his campaign platform. Yeah, he made that threat in front of a whole room of Boy Scouts. A little bit of an awkward moment there. Uh, yes. Eliza Collins, thank you so much. Thank you.